A Nipnion Red Dream is a revised and corrected version of a title from 2020, which I haven't played, so this review will analyze the title separately. Peacefully asleep in his little room one night, young Jonathan receives a visit from a sprite in his dreams, who informs him that in order to wake up, he must embark on a journey within his subconscious, overcoming dangers and adversities. I would say that with the plot, we're done, as there really isn't anything else to talk about. There's no real development, and the characters are mere extras inserted only to propose some puzzles that block the player's progress without any personality or depth. The adventure mainly consists of various puzzles, loosely tied together. There isn't a clear direction that unites them, and their sole purpose is to block the player's progress in a cold and sterile way. Some of these puzzles are decent, while others are so boring or random that they border on a criminal offense. In many instances, no context is provided, which means that a puzzle might be easy, but becomes difficult simply because we don't know what to do. The interface doesn't help either, as it requires several cumbersome clicks to use an item. You have to open the inventory with one click, choose the item you want to use with another click, close the inventory, and then right-click to use it. These extra clicks unnecessarily prolong the action. Furthermore, the mouse pointer gets stuck when clicking on an object in the environment to examine it, risking clicking one time too many and restarting the description. These minor absurdities, when combined, create a sense of frustration in a relatively short game, around 3 hours in length. The gameplay duration greatly depends on the fact that some puzzles can hold a player back simply because they are random. Thus, some players might solve them in 2 minutes while others may take 10. The graphics might not look bad in static images, but the experience is quite different when you actually play the game, as everything remains static. The characters have virtually no animations, are poorly drawn, and the environments, while occasionally evocative, lack vitality. The game lacks voice acting and the soundtrack consists of a few repetitive tracks that attempt to create the right atmosphere but rarely succeed. Inipnion Redreamed is a lackluster adventure in every aspect, further weighed down by a creaky puzzle design and some bizarre technical choices. Its only merit is that it's inexpensive and short-lived, 